Smoking is a complex issue. People smoke for the nicotine, but they die from the tar. This is a crucial point to understand. Nicotine is the addictive substance in cigarettes. It creates a pleasurable feeling that keeps people coming back for more. Tar, on the other hand, is a deadly cocktail of chemicals. It forms when tobacco burns. Imagine a campfire. The warmth you feel is like the nicotine. It's enjoyable, but the smoke from the fire, that's like the tar. It's harmful and can damage your health. Many people misunderstand this difference. They think nicotine is the main cause of smoking-related diseases. This is not true. While nicotine is addictive, it's the tar that does the real damage. This is why it's important to distinguish between the two. We need to educate people about the real risks of smoking. It's not just about addiction. It's about the deadly substances in cigarettes. Tar is a sticky brown substance. It's produced when tobacco burns. When a smoker inhales, tar coats their lungs. This coating contains thousands of chemicals. Many of these chemicals are known to cause cancer. Think of tar like a paint. Every puff of a cigarette is like brushing another layer of this harmful paint onto your lungs. Over time, this layer builds up. It makes it harder to breathe. This is what leads to diseases like lung cancer, emphysema, and chronic bronchitis. But the damage doesn't stop there. Tar also affects your heart and blood vessels. It increases your risk of heart attacks, strokes, and other cardiovascular diseases. The evidence is clear. Tar is the primary villain in cigarettes. It's responsible for the majority of smoking-related deaths worldwide. Nicotine is a stimulant. It's found naturally in tobacco plants. When you smoke, nicotine is absorbed into your bloodstream. It reaches your brain within seconds. This is what causes the addictive effects of smoking. Nicotine itself is not a carcinogen. This means it doesn't directly cause cancer. However, it does have other effects on the body. It can increase your heart rate and blood pressure. It can also narrow your arteries. These effects can put stress on your cardiovascular system over time. It's important to note that nicotine is still addictive. Quitting nicotine can be difficult and lead to withdrawal symptoms. These can include cravings, irritability, and difficulty concentrating. However, the harms of nicotine are far less significant than those of tar. It's crucial to understand this difference when considering safer alternatives to smoking. E-cigarettes or vapes have emerged as a potentially safer alternative to smoking. They work by heating a liquid that contains nicotine, turning it into vapor that is inhaled. Importantly, there is no combustion, so no tar is produced. Think of it like this. Drinking coffee also gives you a dose of caffeine, a stimulant like nicotine. Both can be addictive, but drinking coffee doesn't involve inhaling thousands of harmful chemicals like smoking does. Studies have shown that e-cigarettes are significantly less harmful than traditional cigarettes. They deliver nicotine without the tar and other toxicants found in cigarette smoke. This makes them a potentially valuable tool for harm reduction. While e-cigarettes are not completely risk-free, they offer a much safer way to consume nicotine for those who are unable or unwilling to quit completely. Switching to vaping can significantly reduce your exposure to the harmful effects of smoking. 